Hello, welcome to Daddy's Dead Lift. Uh, what I'm going to start doing is uh, the supplements I have taken, I'm going to start doing reviews on them. Because uh, along my chase for a body like Arnold that didn't was nowhere in my genetics, I took a lot of medicine, a lot of supplements, a lot of stuff from GNC. I've never taken legal steroids. But I get my little brother, uh, he's, he has book knowledge about it. I get my little brother explain it to y'all one day. But uh, I want to just uh, review the supplements I have taken, I've actually taken. So y'all can get a, a, a personal, not no one, a bodybuilder or someone competing in the Arnold Classic to tell y'all a review because they're trying to sell y'all and they're getting uh, uh, money for it. I'm just going to tell you from a, from a, regular person and how it works with my body. So, hydroxy cut. Now, I was trying to get big and cut at the same time. Which is hard. But, uh, I started taking hydroxy cut. Now, the front of it looks, you see how the front of it, big bold lettering, you can see everything. It draws your attention. They know what specific words and colors to use. You know, this is marketing and advertisement. The important information is in this small print on the back, which can't nobody see. Even when they tell you the amount of stuff, uh, of milligrams or grams of this ingredients, it has a cross. It has no, it, it, no percentages. Um, it says that the daily value is not established. That's what the symbol means on the back of this hydroxy cut. How do I know how much of what I'm consuming, what I'm taking? Uh, the only thing really in here is cayenne pepper. Green coffee extract, Yohimbi astra, uh, extract, and caffeine. I mean, really, there's nothing in here. Then you look on the back on how much, how many pills to take, and the scientific evidence they have that this stuff works. They did an eight-week study, but when they did the eight-week study, these people were on a low-carb diet. Carbs is what's stored for energy. People who go on a low-carb diet they usually go on a low-carb diet, and when you need energy, instead of it attacking your carbs, when all your carbs are depleting in your body, it goes after your fat storage. That's the purpose of a low-carb diet. So, basically, they give you the illusion that hydroxy cut is working. It's really not working because you have to go on a low-carb diet and you have to exercise. So, all this does is give you energy. This is a big cup of coffee. All this is, is coffee. It's nothing spectacular. So, I would not recommend it taking hydroxy cut. Also, it has a chemical in it that cuts the signal off from your brain to your stomach that you're hungry. So, this is not something I would recommend anybody to take. Because it doesn't work. You know what I'm saying? What the thing? $30, as you can tell, still has plenty in it. I started taking it and it just didn't feel right. But, uh, I mean, it gives you energy. But, you can take as much energy as you want. Just like taking three scoops of pre-workout. You can take three scoops of pre-workout, go in the gym, not do anything at all, and you're not going to see any effects. This is meant to supplement, to help you. Which you can take some B12. You can take some uh, green tea. You can make your own hydroxy cut. Because it's, it's only caffeine, cayenne, pepper, green coffee, and your Hemby asterisk. But they still don't tell you how much. They put in each one of the, uh, of each one of these, except for the caffeine, 200 milligram, 270 milligrams of caffeine. I'm just saying, uh, I wouldn't take this, so I do not recommend hydroxycut. Y'all keep up the good work, and uh, till the next time, uh, till the next supplement, shall I say?